the um, the way this recorder, the way this editing system works is when you find your spot that you want to start, it's going to rewind the tape five seconds and then play to make sure it, it doesn't wobble or roll or anything so it's nice and smooth by the time you get there. So you get a five second pre-roll, basically. So, I'm going to go, let's see, at the 15 second mark, is that where that changes? Yes, so I'm going to go back to about the 10 second or so mark. Okay, now that's ready to go. So that'll be ready when I'm ready. Now I'm going to go back here and do this again. Okay, that's going to be my start point right there where we went from that scene. So, I don't know if you can see the scene changes on the screen here, but I'm going to, I'm going to, this system is supposed to have an accuracy of three frames. I'm going to back up about three frames. So that's one, two, three. And I'm going to say entry in. And we'll go about 25 seconds forward because I remembered I measured that earlier. Or wherever it got nice and bright here. Right there. That's good enough. 26 seconds. I'll say entry out. And now that's ready. So now, all I. Okay, I've got a perform and I got a preview button. So what I can do here is I can go ahead and hit the preview button, which I don't really need to do, but I'll do it anyway. I hit the preview button. This will rewind to its what its endpoint is going to be automatically without me doing anything. And then it'll beep at me to tell me, it beeps at me when it tells me that it, okay, well now it's starting its pre-roll and it'll chirp one time to tell me it started recording right there. And right now it would be recording that screen right there that isn't even moving, which I don't want that. But that's my preview, just to see that it's doing what it's supposed to. So, if I'm satisfied with that, I can press stop, or I could press preview again if I wanted to, whatever. And, um, And I could preview it again. I could change these things by canceling these inputs and then moving them to somewhere else. You can also shift them with these buttons up here. Um, but I'm satisfied with what I got, so I'm going to hit the perform button. That's the red button. When you hit the red button, then it's going to go ahead and record everything. So now it's going to, again, do a five second pre roll. And since I don't have another VCR that I'm using with the Edit Controller, I'm just going to press play on my DVD player at the appropriate time which is the same time it starts its pre-roll. There, now I get the DVD player rolling so it will be ready when the time comes. And there's that scene.